Um, oh, looks like we are up to 106 smooches. <laughs> Aw, oh, shit. Good. Going back there. Oh, God. You again? How are you still in my head? I've always been in your head. I'm just a magical manifestation of your innermost... Yeah, yeah. I don't need the whole presentation again. Anyway. Way to save the town, Mel. You just let them get away, huh? It's not over yet. We're trying to come up with a plan. We? You sure you didn't chime in? You sure didn't chime in much during that meeting? I guess you're leaving it in the hands of the real pros. Oh, shut up. I've somehow ended up with the fate of the world in my hands, and I'm trying not to have a panic attack. Is that why you're running away? I just needed some fresh air. The last thing I write, need right now is your nagging. Oh, lighten up. You know this is all a charade. If anything, Verena taking your magic away will be a blessing. Look how much trouble it's caused you. You'll get to quit pretending to be something you're not, and go back to being that regular, boring old Melody Amaranth. And Allison can quit pretending to be supportive of this little role-playing phase. What a weight off her back! She's not pretending to be supportive. Allison really loves me. Both of these things can be true, Melody. You ever notice how many times she's brought up the idea of you quitting? Or how reluctant she is to even call you a paladin? She wouldn't. Th this is all paranoid nonsense. Just give it a rest. Melody? Mel, there you are. Been looking all over for you. You doing okay? Not really. You want to talk about it? This isn't what I wanted. I had no idea it would be like this. I thought I'd just tag along with you and take care of some minor wounds here and there. But no. If I wasn't here to heal you, you'd probably... Probably be... Come on, you're supposed to be the positive one. Tell me everything is going to be okay. Tell me we'll get out through this... Melody. Maybe we should quit. What? I'm saying I don't think we should be the ones to challenge Verona. I hate seeing you like this. This isn't what I wanted either. We just wanted to fight some whole hounds and scrounge around for treasure chests with our friends. We were doing great. You were doing great, but now we've got a reality-bending freak and a literal goddess of magic ready to wipe our town off the map. But there's no one else who could even hope to face Javis and Verena. That's the whole problem. What's our alternative? Look, I... I don't know. Mel, I know you want this to work out. And believe me, I do too. But if something happens to you out there, I... If you get hurt or worse... I... I can never forgive myself for letting it happen. I can't let you do this. What about everyone else who's counting on us? We can't contact the outside world for help, and Faith and the other paladins have to protect Greenridge in case this is all another trap. It has to be us, and I don't want my weakness to screw everyone over. Melody, that's not what I... I know! It's not what you said! But it's what it's, this is all about! We shouldn't be having this conversation otherwise. Face it. You've been practically babysitting me this whole time. You've tried being supportive out of pity, but you don't even see me as a real paladin. No one does. Mel, you know I don't think any less of you regardless of how you do as a healer. See? You won't even call me a paladin. Why is that, Allison? Why do you suddenly care so much about being a paladin? This was never something you wanted before. You only got the idea a couple months ago because I wanted to be an adventurer, and you wanted to support me. I feel like I'm just... like I'm just taking advantage of your kindness, and you're afraid to tell me enough's enough. But we're so far beyond what you 
or I or any of us could ever handle. You don't have to put yourself all through this for me, Mel. What the hell kind of relationship is that? That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? I... I don't know, I just... Alice, I thought you were the one person who would always have my back. Whoa, hey, come on here. Look, I'm sorry for raising my voice just now. Why can't you just say that you believe in me? I do, Mel, but I'm not going to encourage you to get yourself killed. That's not what I need to hear right now. Mel. Just leave me alone. I think I need some space. Mel, I don't want to leave you in tears like this. Please, Allison. Okay, fine. If that's what you need, I'll be back at my place. I'm sorry. I love you, Melody. Wow. I hate to say I told you so, but... What? No comeback? Fine. It's no fun when there's no back and forth. See you later. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yep, yep. In, in, any, any sobbers in chat? Oh, man, that's oof. Oh. I did uh became pretty hard to do the Allison voice on on that bit. Uh pretty easy to do the uh melody voice. <laughs> I'm just I'm still stuck on this. I don't understand. Claire, why do you feel the need to use Verena's spellbook in secret? The way they show Mel having a panic attack is fantastic, like horror. Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. And it's just, just the sound effect and the 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 darkening of the viewpoint, like down down to the like. It's a really good way of using the game to convey the emotion. Of, of what's going on and what the character is going through. Uh, which I, f I feel like this game is doing a very strong, um, is doing very well, very strongly. Claire, why do you feel the need to use Farina's spellbook in secret? Are you kidding me? Faith, you must know how competitive, how competitive of a field magic is. I didn't have any opportunities like other people did. I didn't even get to start seriously studying magic until I was already an adult. I've just been on my own here. If I wanted any hope of making it as a witch, I had to figure out a way to help myself. I get where you're coming from, Claire, but you didn't have to do this alone. I thought that maybe the guild would be a positive influence on you. But you're still making these rash decisions on your own when it comes to magic. Why do you assume that I wouldn't have helped you? Because no one ever does. Claire. I don't know what exactly your life was back at Brightport, but things are different here. You have people who care about you. A support network. Yeah. And I'm an embarrassment to all of you. That's not... Oh, don't act like I don't know how everyone talks about me when I'm not in the room. I'll admit, I'm not happy about the mess we're in. But I'm disappointed in you because I know you're capable of so much better. Maybe I haven't been the best friend, but I would hope you still consider me one. We can't keep up this vicious cycle, though. I want to help you, but you need to admit that you need help. You're right. I'm sorry. I need your help, Faith. Thank you, Claire. Ah, perfect timing. Who's that from? 
This is a response from the one person who may be able to help us. Her name is Zina. She's my personal mentor and also a good friend. Oh, Zina. I've heard so much about her. We finally get to meet her, huh? I wish it was under happier circumstances, but yes. I don't normally like to bother her with problems around town, but this is no ordinary disturbance. We need to bring in the big guns. If anyone might be able to face Verena, I believe it's her. Claire, I'm giving you another chance to help out here. I want you four to go talk to Zina for me. Her home is in the mountains east of Anver Woods, behind a magically sealed gate. You'll need this key to get in. She's expecting you. Bum -ba -da -da. You're also free to investigate the valley, since Verena said her base is in that direction. You can get there by heading north from the Amber Woods. Adventurers like to hang around there, so you may be able to find some help there. Or at least, better gear. I'll leave that decision up to you. Jody, one more thing before you go, dear. Sure, Faith. What is it? I'm... Sorry that I'm asking you to leave again so soon after getting back. I wish we didn't have to be apart at a time like this. No, it's okay. I understand. Your duty to Green Ridge comes first. And besides, I gotta take responsibility for this mess I helped us get into. I owe that much to you at least. Well, anyway, I wanted you to have this. Aww. Aww. Oh, it's beautiful, Faith. It's more than just a keepsake. I've been working on a way to keep in touch while the phones are out. If you hold this and channel a little mana into it, it'll temporarily summon me to your location. Anytime, anywhere. Wow. But what if you're, like, busy? I have to accept the summons first, so don't worry about catching me while I'm in the shower or anything like that. I feel terrible that I can't be in two places at once, but this should be a happy compromise. It's perfect. I'll be sure to keep in touch. It's... Oh, hold on. Bye for now, sweetheart. Okay, are we ready to go? I guess so. Also, sorry about the, uh, the scene in there. Let's forget about all that and just focus on helping Faith. Sure thing. Well, Melody, you take the lead. Is something wrong? I... I think I need some space for a little bit, if that's okay. Did something happen? Wait, you did, two didn't have a fight, did you? You can't just ask that, Claire. Uh, Melody's magic is literally fueled by the power of love, so yeah, I think it's relevant. I don't really want to get into it. Don't worry about me. Besides, we've got a job to do. Let's just try to stay positive. I'm just going to hang behind for now. Jody, you should take the lead. Oh, well, sure. If you think you'll be more comfortable that way. Well, I guess it's time to head out then. Fascinating. Alright, first, first we save, and then we need to do some shopping. Um, in this chat, we appreciate Claire. Absolutely, absolutely. I do want to say it's really interesting the relationship dynamics we have um, because we have sort of like two mature working adults sort of thing with um, Jody and Faith. We have the uh, burgeoning relationship between Allison and Melody. Um, and then we have the uh, afraid to afraid to admit feelings and not have them return between um, Higlity and uh, Claire. And I think it's really interesting, like having all of these relationships at different stages of the relationship, and just the dynamics being so different. It's very, very efficient use of the characters. All right, um, give Pepper, yeah, of course. Well, here you go, Pepper. Wait, wee oui, wee. Oui. What exactly do you plan on doing with the knife? Uh, you know, I have went hard that far ahead. I kind of didn't think she would give it to me. Wow, the wall power. You know it's just a regular knife, right? 
Come on, didn't you say this would help you take over the world? Let's hear your evil scheme. Well, my power way is already quite fearsome. So having this will really push me over the edge into the fearsomeness department. Just promise to be careful with this, okay? Owning this is a big responsibility. Yes, I promise. And here's your reward. Love giving a knife to a really fucked up kid. The brace yourself bracelet. Yeah, this uh this kid is the daughter of this guy who was a legit like mega like evil wizard back in the day, but he's retired now. <laughs> He's the kid's grandfather, so the, the kid's, like, uh, uh, following in his footsteps. <laughs> uh, oh, right. I need to buy magic. Um, what do we got? Ooh. Boulder, multi-boulder, megalith, or shield. Um. Uh, I don't know about spells. I, I really need better... Here. So let's check out the kids. What would you like? Um, how are we on potions? Uh, I think we're pretty good. We've got new products in stock! Ooh. Heart circlet, not made with real hearts. That's that's good to know. Um, fighter's headband. Ooh, that's probably good for Allison. Let's get three. Picture of a shield on it. It works, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we got... Stuff for our magic users. And I think there is another shop? Library. Nah, that's probably not. So let's get that. Hold on. Is that our best? Yeah, that's best for her. Uh, switch this back to Inner Beast. Um, it's not too much better defense. Oh. 25% chance to counterattack. Ooh, that's really good. Let's keep that on. Chick Allison. Uh, flower crown. I think, I think it's about time we replace the flower crown. As, as cute as it is. Uh, yeah, Fighter Headband, and Shield T is a straight upgrade. Claire, we need... It's the Lunar Wand. Yep. Um, sure, Flower Crown's better, so might as well. Shield T. Um, I think... I kind of want to swap her to Mana Saver. And I feel like I should... Mm, nah, we'll, we'll just see how this works out, actually. Magical Girl, yep, yep, yep. Nah, we need to, we need to keep our magic up. Give her the shield tea and mana saver. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um, there was another Hold on. I think we had another side quest. Right, we need to talk to Holly. Um, I believe she's in the tower to the left. Ah, there she is. What's up? All done. Right on. Thanks for the help. So what if you don't get any takers? Eh, Red and I will just go back to doing the flying elbow drops and stuff on each other. You know, I might have to join you one of these days if I'm not too busy saving the world. 
This will save you a steel chair, Allison. Anyway, here's a reward for a job well done. Nice. Let's see if there's any other side quests to pick up before we head out. Huh. I gotta see if Claire has anything to say to Higlity. Hi, girls. What can I do for ya? Hey, Beaverly. How are you holding up? I'm managing, I suppose. Things have been really busy around here, so I haven't had time to dwell on it. Besides, the bad guys are gone, so that means everything's better now, what? Uh, not quite. Oh. Sorry, it's probably for the best if we don't get into the specifics. We're working with Faith to try and make things right, though. Hey, really, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, really, you could. Actually, no, forget about it. My problems aren't important when so much is at stake. Nothing could be further from the truth, Beaverly. Say the word, and I'll be there. Well, if you think it's okay, then Sean and I could use an extra pair of hands around here. I know you got your adventure and stuff now, Claire. Whenever you got the time, even a couple of hours of waiting tables would be a lifesaver. I guess I have been flaking on you a lot lately, huh? Well, okay, Beaverly. I'll come help out as soon as I can. Lunch rush. Uh, shoot. Sure. Anyways. Hi, girls. What can I do for you? Hey, Claire. You ready to get to work? Okie dokie, Claire. You know what to do, right? Uh, of course. I've got it. I've got it. I know I haven't worked many shifts lately, but I still know how to bust tables. Yup, you've got this. And thanks again for making this time for this, Claire. I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, customer service move activate. Hi, welcome to Piglity. Hey, Liddy Piglities. What can I get you? I think I'll just have the soup of the day, thanks. Coming right up. Alright, soup of the day. One soup of the day. There you go. Butternut squash soup. Oh my god, that sounds so fucking good. Here's your soup. Ch shouldn't you? Don't worry. I use a charm on my hair to make sure it doesn't get in the food. Oh, okay then. No thanks. This looks great. A bl N now it really feels like a uh, uh, RPG maker game. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Higglity Pigglities. What can I get you? I'm in the mood for something sweet, but I have a quick question about a menu item. I have a peanut allergy. Are there any peanuts in this? Are they... Are there any peanuts in... The peanut butter bars? Well, are there? Yes, there are. Yes, I'm afraid there are peanuts in that. Would you like something else? I guess I'll just have a hot fudge sundae then. Coming right up. Some some people some people when you wear when you wear food service you meet the uh, most oblivious persons. One hot fudge sundae with no peanuts. Enjoy. Thanks, dear. Hi, welcome to Higglity Pigglities. What can I get you? Having trouble deciding. Say, is it okay if I go off menu? Uh, what would you like? What about this place that serves food with real gold flakes in it? That seems really snazzy. Get anything with gold in it? Sorry, but we don't serve anything like that. Is there anything else you'd like? Did you ask someone to make sure? Okay, I'll be right back. Sean, this guy wants gold flakes on his food. Like, gold gold? Yeah, like gold gold. We don't have that. I know we don't. What do I tell him? Tell him to go to hell. You know I can't say that. Just get him to order something we actually have. We've got other customers waiting. Terribly sorry, sir, but we don't have any dishes that come with gold flakes. Wow, that's a shame. You should consider some new menu options. Is there anything else on the menu you would like? Hmm. No, I think I lost my appetite. I'll just have a water. Holy fuck, this person. Holy f fuck you, dude. Water is free. Is there anything else I can get you? Hey, now, I don't take kindly to upselling. Just give me that water. Why would you sit down at a restaurant? Gold Flakes guy just wants water. Wow, big spender. Hope he enjoys it. Here's your water. Dumps it on his face. Here's your water, sir. 
Thanks. Five gold and fuck, not even a good tipper either. What a chuckle fuck. Or lobster one time at a broil place. And five minutes later, a friend asked the kid at the restaurant if it was a problem that he had a shellfish allergy as a joke. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a, oof. Yeah, I, I know as far as like a good restaurant in the back, whenever you have an allergy, like they, they tend to have to kind of scrub a lot of stuff, get absolutely fresh everything to make sure there's no um, transfer incidents. So it's, it can be, it can throw a conniption if you joke about allergies uh, to the cooking staff. Hi, welcome to Higgledy Pigglydies. What can I... Well, I was hungry for a fish fillet sandwich, but this price can't be right. Well, that price does include a drink, and your choice two sides. Baloney. Plus, a few blocks over charges half this much. What kind of scam is this? I just work here, dude. <laughs> Sorry, sir. If you'd like, we have some cheaper options, or you could order it without... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order that damn sandwich. I'm gonna pay what I think it actually works. Better impress me. Uh, fuck you. One fish fillet sandwich. And it better be the best one you've ever made, because I don't feel like having it thrown back in my face. Yeesh. What's gotten into people today? Well, here you go. Here you are, sir. Did you have taken any longer? Are you trying to starve me here? Well, anyway, let's see what we've got here. What the hell is this? I beg your pardon? Only two pickles? They're not even centered properly? This is so bad with fish fillet! And my fucking... Fucking... The, the structural integrity of your sandwich is compromised. You see, it doesn't have the proper feng shui. You know, the, the, the ketchup pile is supposed to be northwest of the mayo pile, and they're supposed to be one-third of each other in the perfect dimensions. Uh, you don't even have the golden ratio of sauce in here in relation to the size of the fish fillet, and your 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 bread is a centimeter too thick in comparison to your fillings. It looks fine to me. What are you blind? This is ridiculous. I deserve to be treated treated better than this as a paying customer. I want to see your manager. Hi there. What seems to be the problem here, sir? What do I even begin? Prices are sky high, the service is slow, and the food isn't even prepared properly. I have half a mind to never eat here again. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your experience hasn't been better. Is there anything we can do to fix this? Maybe a free drink? Ha! Nice try. How about an entire free meal? Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. But how about a dessert on the house? Boy, you're difficult. I say we're that bitchy waitress of your- Holy fuck you, dude person, what, whatever, whatever you identify as. Excuse me? You heard me. She's worthless. If you had any sense, you'd fire that. You listen here, mister. You can insult me, my cooking, and my restaurant all you want, but you do not get to talk about Claire like that. Hey, what do you get the hell out of my restaurant? I presume we fade to black because she straight up murdered them. So, sorry about that. It's fine. It's part of the job. I'm just thankful for the save. I almost frosted that guy. I would have done worse if I knew as much magic as you. I get why you want to quit, though. I love my job. It's not always less and smiles, no matter how hard I try to be a positive influence. No, 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 no. I don't hate working at Piglities. I mean, I get to be around you. I like that. Aw, years after what happened, I'm just happy we have a restaurant to go back to at all, even on a bad day like this. Beaverly, I... I need to come clean about something. What? That attack on Greenridge the other day? That was my fault. I'm the one who got the attention of the bad guys. I'm the reason you almost lost everything. You don't have to forgive me. I don't expect that of you. I know you'd probably be better off without me causing you so much trouble. Claire, I don't... really know what's been going on with you lately. I wish you'd tell me. Like it... that I'd probably go over my head. But whatever happened, I know it's not your fault. You would never do that on purpose. 
I'm fine, really. Whatever those guys were after, they were responsible for their own actions, and you're responsible for yours. Besides, town invasions excluded, I kinda like that you caused trouble. Huh? Why? Makes things more interesting around here. I love how passionate you are about magic and monsters and all that. You're honestly one of the coolest people I've ever known. You know, when I was a kid, Piclides was my favorite place in the world because of people like you. I'd hang around while my parents worked, and I'd get to meet all the adventurers who were passing through town. People with dreams. So many interesting stories to tell. Those are some of my happiest memories. Those dreams of yours are why I know you have to leave. Piglides my whole life. When they get sick, Sean and I promised our parents we'd keep the family business going. That's not your problem. Even if we don't see each other as much, we we'll never stop you from being a full-time witch. I don't want to hold you back. I should hear all your cool stories from time to time when you're back in town. It doesn't have to be that way, Beaverly. There's something else I've been meaning to tell you lately, actually. Oh? I... I like you. A lot. As more than a friend. It's cool if you don't feel the same way. It's just that I wanted to put that out there to make sure you knew. I guess what I mean is my life is changing, but I still want you to be part of it. I know we're both busy with work, but maybe sometime when you have a night free we could go out? Like on a, a date? Oh yes, a thousand times yes, Claire! I thought you'd never ask. What? I've literally had a thing for you for ages. Come on, I'm terrible at hiding it. I get flirty all the time. You do? I thought you were like that with everyone. No, silly. I really like you in particular. I just thought you weren't interested since I'm, you know, boring. No way, Beaverly. You're not boring. You're the nicest, sweetest person I've ever known. These last few years of my life have been so much better with you in it. Oh, come on. Oh, come here, you. Aww. Aww! We got smooches! So I guess it's a date? It's a date. Aww, that's so sweet. Gee, Claire, you seem to be awfully chipper for someone who just got done working food service. Wait, did you... You didn't. I may have. Oh my god, finally! I thought you nerds would never break the ice. Holy crap, congrats, Claire. Yeah, well, it turns out the potential end of the world is one way to light a fire under me. So things are heating up already, huh? Getting real hot and heavy with you and Beaverly. Really? No, 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 stop, stop. Let's just get back to the mission. <laughs> now you can make all the animals kiff. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Ooh, we got all. Claire has learned kiss Beaverly. She can now summon Beaverly for moral support in battle. No way. Boosts all of Claire's stats for five turns. Oh my. Hey, have I ever mentioned that this game is fucking cute? Uh, because it is. It is a saccharine delight capable of giving a person diabetes if they stare too long. Um. <sighs> Alright. Um. I think... I think I kind of want to call it here because I don't want to accidentally go for nine hours again. Um, I want to I wanna do better about breaking things up on these acts. Um. There's actually one complication you should see to before you end stream. You should start a fight real quick. Oh, okay. Enemy and a man, enemy. enemy. All right, so now everyone can kiss. So let's have everyone smooch.
Why did you tell me to look at that? Why did you tell me to look at that, Glottal? Hey, Glottal, we were having a happy moment. Why did you have to tell me about this? Why did you point this out to me? Why do you hate me like this? Why are you mean to me? No one's sad. Alright, let's, uh... Game takes Ludo narrative dissonance seriously. You know what? Fair enough. Oh, right. All these enemies are, like, very early game. Okay. Let me go resave. Uh, I don't have to go... I don't know if I have to go north or not, so I'll just use this one, actually.